I fell into the business, as so many in this industry do. Um, in the early days, there was an awakening for me, which I didn't realize at the time how profound it was going to be. But I had the pleasure of working uh, with Michelle Rue of Absolute Vodka fame during the heydays. Of the campaigns were imaginative, incredibly well thought out, connected to consumers in ways that no alcohol beverage brand had done before. I was most often the only woman at the table, literally. I smashed a few glass ceilings, but then I really encountered one night. And at that point, I decided to pivot and go out on my own. Are you going to want our jobs when you come back with that MBA? And I just looked and thought, how short-sighted is that? I would think that you would want me to bring value to the organization. So I recognized that uh, they were not going to let me go uh, to do the program. And then I was just carving out my time to launch my own business launched an agency a year and a half later, and never looked back. Threat, if you will, that could occur uh, whether it's men or women at the table. So I've recognized that other times in my life, and it's something I acknowledge. The opportunity for innovation, and I, I do believe that this is across CPG, uh, not just Wine and Spears, but Wine and Spears specifically, has been hampered by this thinking of this is what we produce uh, a lot of times uh, hampered by all sorts of strange regulatory uh, compounds. So where so many companies, wine and spirits, shortcut the process is at the beginning or at the foundational levels. The foundations have to be there. Uh, the exit will take care of itself. If you have that connectivity with the consumer, then it's easy enough to get it across your internal and external teams because messaging is strong, it's focused, it's direct, it's differentiated, and it's connected. When you don't have that alignment, which is 90% of the brands, then you have miscommunication. It doesn't translate through the food chain and Ultimately, people are just making up stuff about what the messaging should be instead of being super clear and to the point. And that price is, could be death to the business. And if those elements aren't there, you're just not going to get that kind of traction. And if you can't answer that question, that brand should not exist. Differentiation is key and your purpose to exist, the mental strategy. They, they feel they can uh, fly by the seat of their pants and you pay a price. And ultimately, you want to be executing in a seamless process. Uh, so you have to carve that out.